Are you pregnant? No. Oh my God. Alyssa fans, Alyssa fans, they were so disappointed today when she talked about her baby news. Okay, welcome back. My view on the view. I'm your host, NVO TV. Okay, let me tell you what's been going on. So over the break, the Thanksgiving break, you know, all the women have been uploading various things. I don't know about you guys, but Whoopi's whole Instagram was on fire throughout this entire thing. I was like, Alyssa, I was literally following along with Whoopi every day, checking to see what she uploaded. First of all, because I love homes and her house in Italy is beautiful. I digress. But so during that break, all of the Alyssa fans kept saying, they know she's, I know she's pregnant. They kept pointing out guys, all these clues in various pictures that she was pregnant. Okay. They really were talking about the Thanksgiving day show that was pre-taped. We'll get to that in a moment. So when the ladies returned today from their Thanksgiving break and she would be, you know, punted the ball to her. What did you do? <laughs> you know, every, all of her fans expected her to announce her pregnancy, but instead this is the baby news that she announced. Take a listen. Uh, so what'd you, do? you know, I had a nice low key uh, Thanksgiving with my family. We're at this adorable little place, Mayflower Inn in Connecticut. I that mm-hmm. with the, the highlight, I became a godmother. Um, my, my nephew had already been born, but I was asked to be the godmother. And it was just, oh, oh, Yeah, and on on social media, her fans were like, wah, wah, wah. Okay, so let's talk about this. And then I'm going to tell you why, personally, I can't wait for her to get pregnant. Okay, first of all, guys, I think, um, you know, we all have to recognize that if Alyssa's pregnant, okay, she will announce it in her own time, okay? I think, um, I don't know the age range or life experience of her fans who just are like hounding, hounding, hounding her to say she's pregnant or get pregnant or whatever. But the bottom line is, uh, it's very difficult to get pregnant under pressure, whether it's pressure you're putting on your own self, whether it's pressure because of your age, whether it's pressure because of your family members, your spouse, you know, whatever. Under those circumstances, babies generally just don't be made, okay? Um, We've all heard the stories. Maybe you've even had the experience going through IVF, all these different types of things, all this pressure, pressure, pressure. And then finally, when you and your man say, you know what, whatever, you know, maybe it wasn't meant to be, whatever, bamboo, there you go, you're pregnant. And very often the quote unquote natural way. So I think her fans need to lay off Okay, that's the first thing. But then the next thing is this, guys, listen, you know, all of us know that women have different circumstances if they are pregnant. Maybe like Tamron Hall, she didn't tell the public she was pregnant until, I mean, she was like almost like about to go into the hospital and have Moses because she had a high risk pregnancy. And so, you know, sometimes telling people things Uh, And then hearing all the reactions, seeing all the reactions, and that's just if everyone's going to be happy for you, you know, that could create a whole environment mentally that some a woman just doesn't need at such a sensitive time. So I just think people just need to let her do her thing. And hey, it is what it is. Now, I got to tell you something about me, my viewer experience, my view on the view, right? You know, children are a blessing. I am a huge believer in that. I believe that children uh, make life better. Uh, You know, having children... Uh, to give your love to is just something that is just awesome, awesome, awesome to see yourself replicate it, right? You know, God created DNA, right? And that's the only way we're going to live forever. I don't know about you, but I can look at various people in my family um, that are still here. And I see people that I remember when I was a kid who are no longer here. So through DNA, we are, we truly are able to live forever here on the earth, right? So, you know, having all, having said all that, I also have worked with abused children before and abused adults and all those things. A lot of you know a lot of my work history because I've shared it here before. So I also know that not every person who has a child, not every woman who has a child should have one because not every woman wants to be a mom. Not every woman even wants to learn how or know how uh, and all those things. And so sometimes children can come in this world under some very, very, very uh, strange circumstances to say the least. 
So children are a blessing and she wants to be a mom. Remember during that time when Whoopi said, are you pregnant? <laughs> she said, I, 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 I would be happy to be pregnant. You know, my husband and I are, we are trying to get pregnant. So having said that, I personally will be glad if she is pregnant. I'll be even more glad, um, you know, if it's like soon, because that means not only is she going to be blessed with a little, you know, little scrumptious little baby boy or girl, it also means that Brian Tedda will be forced to bring in another Republican or at the very least to make me happy. Anna Navarro will be there more days than just two, Monday and Friday. Remember when Megan uh, left to have her kid? I was like, I just know, you know, what are they going to do? Are they going to try to test out somebody else? And we just saw Anna more, which again, because Anna's one of my favorites, I was like totally loving it, right? So either way, I'm going to be happy because I'm going to get a different viewer experience because for me, for me, girl, Season 27 has been lackluster, not because I need drama. I do not need drama, but what I do need, okay, is a healthy debate. And so hopefully whenever she has her child, whenever she gets pregnant, if that's six months from now, if that's two years from now, girl, whenever it is, if that's tomorrow, um, we will get, I will get um, someone else, uh, preferably I would love to see Tara Setmayer again. I would love to see Lindsey Granger again. You know, you know, I actually thought that Caitlyn Jenner, when Caitlyn came, Caitlyn only came once. Caitlyn obviously was on meds or something that day. And so I don't feel like she was at her best, but I even think that Caitlyn, um, you know, who is very outspoken politically, I even think that she could, could sit there and, and um, stand her ground against the women and have a different perspective. Not to mention Caitlin loves the limelight. So that would be a great dynamic. So for me, I feel like in terms of debate, debates, healthy debates, not drama field debates, but healthy debates has been very lacking this season. Um, as it was last season, because all, everybody sounds the same. And if you've been listening to the Behind the Table podcast, you know that the executive producer, Brian Tedda, he actually addressed that. So he was kind of like vicariously addressing Megan Stack's article in the New York Times called The View Has Narrowed, aka everybody sounds the same, right? We all understand that most Republicans are, you know, that they were looking for are going to sound like Democrats because most people are sane. <laughs> we are not Marjorie Taylor Greens. Y'all are not Marjorie Taylor Greens. We are not Jim Jordans. You are not a Jim Jordan, right? So really, no matter what the political persuasion, we're pretty much, if we're sane, uh, going to all see things the same, right? So we get that, right? That we get. But still on some of these other issues, like abortion, like other things, uh, like climate change, like other things, right? There needs to be some healthier, stronger debates. And Alyssa, bless her. She just does not have the ability, nor maybe she doesn't want to, I don't know which one it is, to stand her ground and to make strong, strong, uh, have a strong position at this table. And we know this is not an easy table, but let me tell you something. You can't complain about that. When you take a job, you know what you're going into. You knew what, you know, who you were going to be working with. So it's not this whiny situation of they don't let her talk. They don't let her. Talk. Well, honey, she knew the show she was coming to. Right. And I've already played those clips from Entertainment Tonight where she said when they asked her, you know, what are you going to do? Because, you know, this is a pretty strong group of women. And she said, I'm going to stand my ground. Well, girl, I'm still waiting. OK, I'm standing my ground waiting for you to stand yours. So having said that, that's my view on the view. What say you? Are you one of the Alyssa fans who are like, when is she going to announce she's pregnant? When, 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 when? If so, let us know. And are you also one of her fans that are like pointing out on social media all these clues that you're seeing? You know, let us know in the comments. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll talk to you guys on the next podcast. Bye, y'all.